8 a.m. on the clock, and we got record colds for the whole U.S. coming in hot in the next couple days. But a little morning warm up, some gratitude, some shells, some stoke. Go back, get some fuel. And I was wanted to touch on something real quick. A lot of people ask me all the time, where do we know that we're gonna sleep? Sometimes, like in the winter when we're driving around. Most of the time, I don't even know where I'm gonna sleep that night at like 6 p.m. So just to really show you guys how serious we are about living in the moment, kind of having faith in people and humanity and the universe, it comes down to the hour. The last hour of the day sometimes I literally don't know where I'm gonna sleep. It always works out. I've slept in my truck a lot. Some nights I've been colder than I wanted to, but keep on keeping on. The dream is real. Woke up feeling blazing. Got a lot more movement out of my ankle. And I'm grateful for the people that I have that have helped me out along this way. In the next couple of days, we're making it to New Hampshire. I'm gonna take care of this leg because that's the only thing that really matters. Everything else can get kicked to the dust. And we have to work out and get stronger. Those are the main priorities. Slept this Grizzlies last night though. One of the best sleeps of my entire life. Shout out to the Scrivanos. How you done? All right, ready for this? I'm so freaking grateful. What do you think of her? Ooh. We got a little rust in the back. A little, we got a little rust. Keep it going. Keep it going for a minute. Yeah, get under there. Aww. Give her a look. Give her a once over before I drive to New Hampshire and back. Slept in her yet? <laughs> no, I mean, not on this trip. They're claiming record lows. I don't know if it's possible. We got negative. Oh, I could get under there. jump roping in months first time actually jumping up onto boxes I got cleared as you know last week to start doing some more impact stuff and it is just breaking through the mental barrier of jumping off of one foot landing onto the other it's like I can do it but I'm like <laughs> but hometown dude I literally used to live right there that was yeah the timing of that is insane that gym the homies all of this the whole situation, it's just beautiful. I wanna send you guys the love. Hope everybody's stoking and seeing old friends and old family during these times. I'm about to hit the library up and finish and edit and then hopefully just gang up with the crew tonight and just reminisce, make some new memories, keep the stoke levels elevated. And then I gotta find a PT in the area. That is the next number one goal, dreaming. See if we could find the 14 year old C-dub when I ollied that gap clip. Heavy claims. All right, we got morning breakdown. Found this woman who apparently works with athletes and is a traveling physical therapist. Will show up wherever you are. We've been trying to coordinate for like two days and she is about to drive to me right now from Rhode Island, so feeling blazing been getting a lot of progress in the past couple days and to have somebody get some hands-on pt right where i'm at right now is an absolute dream so we're kind of rushing home to make this happen and 
Major claims today. What's going on? How you doing? I thought you were going to show up with an Alter G and a van and everything. This is it. <laughs> What's going on? How nice you doing? You. Nice so with what I like to do is go through just the entire body from head to toe. I take a look at you standing, seated postures, um, so we can dissect whether it is a motor control issue or an actual mobility issue. So if it's your brain that doesn't understand how to achieve that motion, or if you're actually stuck in a sense, where it's the joint or the tissue that's not giving you that pliability, not giving you that motion. We'll just, yeah, go through everything and see what's what. And then you're gonna bring it all the way up, extend it all the way up. There it is. I love it. I love it. That works when you're bent. So when you're landing, you're getting that soleus control. All right. I hope this audio is going to be good enough because my camera is filled up. Two 128 gig SD cards. My entire life right now is insane and I have to break it down. And this is one of those vlogs where if you guys have been watching for a while, I feel like the people who are gonna watch these videos without the snowboarding title and you get kind of just less views, but such an intricate, in-depth look into my life and how I'm actually living. And a lot of people think that it's just absolute rainbows and that we're stoking. And once you hit 100,000 subscribers, people just start paying you for nothing. And it's just so real over here. We're in Connecticut. And first I have to break down the physical therapist, Laura, dialed me in like I've never been dialed in before. If you are on the East Coast, like I was, basically anywhere, she's down to travel to you to make it happen. And she didn't just assess the leg ankle situation. She broke down my entire body and where my imbalances are and every single way that I can twist or contort my body, how it's non-symmetrical on one side. And we started working on ways to realign and whether that was from pre-existing or post-surgery imbalances with the way that I've had to kind of counter or compensate. And I am just feeling so blazing, had an absolute breakthrough, did the first couple like jumps off of a stair and a lot of it's mental. And she helped break down the difference between what was mental and trying to make those neurological connections again, or if it was actually immobilized to a certain extent and if it needed help. And I just wanna drop all of her information below. She does video stuff. She will come to you in person though. And she literally has been traveling for this and it was just so nice to get another opinion. I've been having so many people help me out along with this journey and it's just so incredible, the amazing people that I've been meeting. So once again, her stuff is blow. If you guys are trying to get dialed in, take care of the whole cuerpo, but the real situation going on right now. Where are we? We are on my way to pick up my brother and his girlfriend in Boston and we are sitting in a one personger, one wheel drive Ford Ranger from the early 90s and this thing is pushing over 200K. I think, I don't know, the speedometer stops at 99, but $37 does fill it, that's it. I was going to speak publicly at a pep rally in front of my entire high school, or what was my high school, the entire high school that is there now, tomorrow morning, but we have this insane, I don't even think it's a nor'easter. I've been trying to kind of keep track of it, but I've been so much travel's been going on that my life is so hectic, and I really don't know. All I know is that in the next, 12 to 24 hours, there's gonna be such a dramatic cold front bringing in insane, not only negative temperatures all throughout the country, stopping flights and whatnot, but also bringing snow to the Northeast and crazy rain. And I'm not going to be able to drive this vehicle in those conditions to get to my brother tomorrow. So he's bailing out on his Airbnb tonight. I'm gonna to scoop them up. They're loading all their gear in my car and we're driving up to New Hampshire. So I got an hour and a half drive right now to Boston, pick up them, and then a two and a half hour drive to my mom's in New Hampshire for Christmas. 
Christmas. I have to bail on speaking at my high school, which literally would have been a lifetime dream, but you got to keep your life and your body and your family and your priorities intact. And I have to break all this down to you guys to let you know that you might be going through some gnarly stuff too. And everybody's got a story and you just got to push through and make things happen. And also give a little context to what is going on right now. So wish me luck. I have... Dude, the wind's getting gnarly. This is how these puppies are hanging on right now. I'm not even gonna touch them, but it's just that little bar sitting through there. No clamp. Like, old. Oh my god. The headlights are also on high and barely existing. The gas gauge doesn't work. But shh. She is purred. some life. So what, it was a nail? You found it? Well, I found the spot. The screw head, it was already worn off. I mean, your tires are in great shape. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no socks, huh? At least it wasn't his leg. I know. There it is. Yeah. <gasps> He's grinding the envelope. Look, can we open something so we can get some coffee going? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 French press together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I see why she wanted to see that. Oh, it. God. Red is sick. Matches the kitchen. It does match the kitchen. <laughs> wow, it's a good fur. No, it's not. I'll never time. use it. Buying mom a brand new bike. <laughs>
her done, Bill. Get her done. <laughs> Tingly. No way. <laughs> the man, the myth. Nice spot up here. Beautiful. Yeah, I just got it. How you doing? What's up, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what do we got? Dude. Let's get the breakdown. I haven't seen any of these things. I figured your mom would be stoked, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, hanging up, proud mom, you know. For sure. Got his son's sure. Uh, role model hanging up in the house, so the, yeah. this is for your mama. Sick. Oh, we can put it down wherever. Dude, that thing is fresh. Is, I'm calling this the double barrel of people's choice because everyone on Instagram chimed in what they wanted for, for graphics. This is kind of like a, a mix of what everyone, everyone wants. Clean. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Get you on that 56 wide. This is, yeah. These beasts of a feet here. Yeah. New open road. I got you in a uh, 160 as as requested, sir. I've been in the purple stoke. I um, like this it. thing's rad, right? Yeah. Put it up to your shirt right now. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, like where the shirt ends and where the board begins, we don't know. 59. Oh, sick. You got one for, for D-Dub. Yeah, dude. You gotta keep the family stoked, yes, you know? bro. And that's a snowboard. Oh, there it is! Yeah, he's fired up. That thing is sick. Little old school retro Burton <laughs> mini Grom. Here's another Christmas present for you. Oh, literally. Can, the, maybe we can figure a spot in your room. That's cool. That's the one he made for you. Yeah, that's really cool. Didn't Brian do the design? Uh huh. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the day has come. As you just seen, we linked up with the legend Scotty Lego, and he delivered me the Lego snowboards quiver for this season. It's been kind of weird because I haven't been snowboarding, so I didn't do the breakdown of the boards this year, and shipping them to me wouldn't have been really useful until now since you know we're gonna be snowboarding in the next couple days here and we got the casey willax lego snowboard signature collab which you already know is the same design as last year same shape same stoke then we got the double barrel the og go to and we've got the open road which is the pow board a little bit setback what you see me riding on the deep days and in japan it is official these things have been live but i finally have them in my hands right now if you guys are trying to support the dream and get stoked get any of the lego models or cop yourself the cw design legosnowboards.com i appreciate you guys the love and the stoke and the support We've got some massive things coming up soon and trying to get back into these consistent videos for you guys. So drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. We're back on snow soon. See you in the next one. Woo.